Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to add a new row to a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example relies on the data frame that we can create in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio. And we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object. And then you will see that a new data frame window appears. And in this window, you can see the structure of our data frame. So right now, our data consists of four rows and three columns, x1, x2 and x3. So for the example, we also need to create a vector that we can add as new row to this data frame. And this is what we are doing in line six of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see again that a new data object appears at the top right, which is called new row. And we can also have a look at this data object by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, our vector is returned and our vector simply consists of the three numeric values 77, 88 and 99. Now let's assume that we want to add this vector as new row to our data frame. Then we can apply the code as you can see in line 10. And in this line of code, I'm applying the rbind function. Within the rbind function, we need to specify the data frame that we want to combine. And then we also need to specify the name of the row that we want to add to our data frame. So if you run this line of code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right. And if we click on this data object, you will see that our new data frame consists of exactly the same values as our original data frame, plus the values of our vector at the bottom of the data frame. So this is basically how to add a new row to a data frame in R. However, I want to show you a second example in which I'm adding a new row to a data frame in a different way. So in this example, we first need to replicate our data in a new data object, which we call data2. So if you run line 13 of the code, you will see that a new data object appears at the top right. And this new data object consists of exactly the same values as our original data frame. Yeah, and then if we want to add a new row to this data frame, we can apply the nrow function. The nrow function is calculating how many rows our data frame has. And then we can tell R that we want to add a new row at the position nrow plus one. So if you run this line of code, you will see that our data frame object is updated. And if you click on this data object data2, you will see that exactly the same output is returned as in example one. But this time we appended the new line in a different way as in example one. So in this video, I have shown you two examples on how to add a new row to a data frame in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.